First of all, uh, I'm going to talk about the valuation of native conduit this RVOT with uh, Edward Sapien valves, uh, but not covered all of the Turkish experience. Uh, as well as I know, there are limited experience on this in Turkey, uh, uh, only one center other than CMRSX. So uh, I don't know uh, all the data from them, so uh, I'm going to share my experience, my own experience on transcatheter pulmonary valve replacement in uh, native RBOT without stenosis. Uh, as I, as already uh, has been spoken, uh, transcatheter pulmonary valve replacement in dysfunctional conditions has been preferred choice as an, an effective and safe alternative to surgery, but uh, they are originally uh, designed for the treatment of conduit or biologic prosthetic valve dysfunction, especially in the presence of the uh, stenosis. And in melody valve up to 22 millimeter in diameter, uh, one of the masters in this issue is among us, Mark Kevilik, and he spoke about this. Uh, at the Sapien valve original designed for TAVI for larger size, with larger size, has also been used for PPI in stenotic and without without regurgitation, conduit hemographs with inverse mounting and approved by CE mark. But not uh, larger sizes and the you know, Noflex Plus system is not approved by CE. Uh, we have been using off-label. However, most of the patients that require pulmonary valve replacement have conduit list RVOT, more than 85% of them. Uh, however, uh, PPVI of native RVOT is uh, although it is one of the most challenging and technically demanding procedure, several cases reports, AV studies, including small number of case series, up to nine in Atrosapian valve. And uh, uh, the most experienced uh, investigator, uh, as I already said, that uh, Mark Kevilik, and he published his study uh, recently up to 24 millimeter beat beat melody valve. And case report with Sapien valves generally up to 26 millimeters. Venus P valve has been investigating in especially large RVOT without stenosis as a self-expandable valve system. New generation of Sapien XT valve up to 29 millimeter and its new delivery system which have larger valves but smaller profiles might give more opportunity in native larger RBOT with smaller patients. Uh, in this area, no publication of case series using new valve, 29 millimeter and new delivery system. Uh, we evaluated the performance of Sapien XT valve uh, as we did uh, today, the large cases, uh, and uh, it worked very well, in, especially in very large RVOT, and I will share my own experience on this. Uh, let's uh, skip because we have no time so much. Uh, the indications. Uh, in selection of the patients, uh, our criteria was the uh, minimum RVOT diameter on uh, parasternal short axis view less than 25 millimeter. Uh, the procedure generally we did under deep sedation, sometimes in gen under general anesthesia, and 12 French introduces into femoral vein and balloon sizing and for interrogation. Uh, we did uh, angiography on lateral projection and AP cranial projection, sometimes LAO, uh, with some LAO tilting. Uh, we, uh, we taken into consideration average of them. Uh, also, we uh, did measure length of the RVOT, uh, as we show many of them. Uh, for balloon interrogation, uh, uh, in the beginning, we used semi-compliant balloons uh, also for testing the balloon stability in the RVOT. But uh, recently, I have been using sizing balloons only, uh, generally 24 millimeters by AGA. During this time, slow hand inflation without uh, applying any pressure. You see, if there is any indentation on the sizing balloon, 
we did measure the indentation and if it is less than 30 millimeters, uh, we did stand, pre-standing. You see the measurements and you see the coronal compression testing in all. In pre-standing, it is the most important part of the procedure. The uh, valuation is easier, even though uh, 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 it seems to be difficult, but uh, pre-standing is more difficult than the uh, valuation. So, under stand XXL stands we have used in all. Uh, in deciding stand length, as long as enough to cover the RBOT, including pulmonary analysis, as short as possible to leave small part in proximal RBOT for avoiding the crushing during the valve uh, advancing. ZMAT balance were used in all between 25 to 30 millimeter. Balloon diameter uh, was, choosed, uh, was chosen at least one or two millimeter, uh, more than the waist diameter on balloon. If the indentation mild on 30 millimeter balloon, 30 millimeter uh, sizing balloon, 30 millimeter zimat balloon were used. Uh, let me skip this angio because we showed many. Uh, after implantation, uh, we, uh, we didn't uh, pull back the guide wire without any catheter. I, I, uh, I have been using uh, multiple pulls uh, with soft end uh, before guide wire uh, pulling back uh, and then pulling back the uh, catheter again. Sometimes we support stent uh, to uh, prevent the migration to the uh, right ventricle. Uh, what are the unsuitable? Uh, what is the criteria? We we do triple check. Uh, one of them is balloon in, uh, indentation on the balloon less than 30 millimeters. The other during balloon inflation uh, in the existence uh, of the PFO. There should be uh, systemic pressure drop near zero, and uh, right ventricular angiogram from side arm of the long sheet. There must be no passage uh, around the balloon to the PA. This patient was ex excluded for prestanting. You see no uh, indentation, also uh, free floating on the argot. Uh, at Versapian, while was talking, so I would like to skip this and while loading, transversing the, uh, crossing the stand. Uh, after angiogram, we did, we did angiogram after. As prayer put on the next day, continued for the next six months. Patients were scheduled physical exam, ECG, and ECHO. Our experience on uh, native RVOT evaluation uh, uh, only for one year. So total valve implantation hour center uh, in 59 patients. Total presenting of the total presenting for the valve implantation in 63 patients. Married valve was, was used in 27. Uh, only three of them were uh, stenotic uh, native RBOT. The other ones uh, were uh, conduits. Edward Wall was used in 29 uh, native RBOT with stenosis in 17, native RBOT with stenosis in only one, and conduit in five. Mainly we use Edward Wall in uh, native RBOT without uh, stenosis and free regurgitation. And we have six patients presented and waiting for valuation in six patients. And 25 patients with pitched large R native RBOT with free PR underwent the catheterization for the evaluation to present before valuation. 23 patients deemed to be suitable. Two patients excluded because of no indentation and waste observed on balloon. And during the balloon inflation, there was no pressure drop in systemic pressure. Procedure, procedures were successful in all attempted. Uh, age was between 7 to 
7250 with a median of 14 and with a uh, mean of uh, near 18. Uh, time to pre uh, time from surgery to presenting was uh, 12 years. Uh, with a mean. Uh, these are the echo ECG and MRI findings. Uh, there was no significant pressure gradient with a mean of 5 mm mercury. Right ventricular uh, outflow tract on angio was found to be higher than the uh, echocardiographic uh, uh, measurements. So uh, it may be, uh, we don't take into consideration. Uh, we, took, uh, we take into consideration only uh, balloon sizing, uh, and pressure dropping, and sometimes uh, the, uh, no passage uh, through the RVOT during balloon inflation. This diameter on size, uh, sizing balloon was found to be 25.6, and this diameter on semi compliant balloon, Taishek or Osipka, 24.5, uh, were similar. So it cannot be used. Uh, semi compliant balloon. Uh, I think uh, sizing balloon may be enough uh, in this purpose. The presenting balloon size were, uh, let me show you, yeah. about 3 millimeter more than the uh, waist diameter on uh, balloons. At uh, valuation in present patients were done in the same season in four. Two stage approach was followed in 19. Uh, valuation was realized in the second season, three to uh, 12 weeks after present in 10. Sapien XT valves were used mainly, uh, mostly 29 millimeters. Uh, these are the procedural and fluoroscopy time because most of the patients uh, have. Uh, to decision uh, attempts. Uh, what is the criteria for that same decision uh, or the, at the next decision? If there is uh, indentation on the stent or there is a waste after implantation, uh, we prefer uh, at the same decision. If there is no, we wait. Uh, these are the stent appearance in valuation by two states, the previous ones uh, in, the same, uh, in the same season. Uh, after valuation, the asteroid pressure increased in all, of course. No PR uh, observed in 11, trivial PR in 5, and mild paravalvar leakage in 1. You see no. Another patient that we have valuated before you see this some regular, uh, but 24 hours later we did echocardiography and show this problem. Ah, click it one more time. It was due to paravalvular leakage, but it was not uh, important, it was not significant because it's very mild, or we can say trace. When we did retro retrospective analysis for balloon sizes used for presenting, uh, balloon uh, waist diameter ratio uh, uh, was 1.1. Uh, balloon waist diameter ratio in uh, sizing balloon 1.1, and again balloon uh, to waist diameter ratio to semi compliant balloon 1.1 uh, was similar. Uh, balloon uh, minus waist diameter difference uh, 2.55 in uh, sem uh, sizing balloon, and uh, similar in semi compliant balloon uh, 2.6. Uh, as, uh, well, when we look at the complication, pulmonary hemorrhage in two due to guide damage to the very distal small pulmonary arteries. As you know, uh, placement of the guide wire in as much as possible distally is uh, one of the most important points. Sometimes, in especially pulmonary atresia with VSD with, uh, and tetrasia follow, 
they have a, a small peripheral pulmonary arteries and may cause uh, may cause during the manipulation uh, cause uh, pulmonary hemorrhagia. After reversing heparin, pantone has improved in all. Blood, blood transfusion required in only one. Of course, intubation and ventilation was required uh, sometime. Stent moment to the distal main pulmonary artery, but not to the branches in two. We, we showed one of them in the early morning live case that uh, we repositioned with pulling back to the proximal RVOT uh, when ballon inflated. Undesired stent location at proximal part of the RVOT in one and second stent implantation uh, were done more distal part. Uh, Crumpling and or partial crushing of the antler stand were the most frequent complication in our series. Repositioning uh, we showed before in the early morning. Uh, what about crumbling and partial crushing of the antler stand? Two of them uh, were during stenting, others during valvulation. All of them redilated before or after valvulation. No stenosis left after dilation. Stents and valves were all rounded in shape finally. That typically uh, shown on the laid back or spider position. Uh, you see there, after uh, implantation in one patient, uh, uh, there was significant uh, crumpling. Uh, then we did uh, the dilation when guide wire placed in the left pulmonary artery and right pulmonary artery sequentially. Uh, the last angiogram uh, are shown in this movies. You see also we did coronary angiography after implantation. Uh, sometimes if there is space between the proximal part of the stent uh, and uh, the significant part uh, at proximally uh, placed, and also space between the right ventricular myocardium or patch. Uh, it may be crushed during the valve advancing. As seen in this patient, you see the posterior crushing of the stent due to valve and some difficulty uh, to cross the valve. You know that there is no rest retractable sheet as Melody have. After implantation, proximal uh, flaring was uh, possible and there was no significant gradient and there, there was no valve dysfunction after this procedure. You see the last uh, angiogram no regurg and rounded shape of the uh, valve stent as supply. Uh, so we, we have all only early follow-up results. We haven't seen any infective endocarditis or any stenosis or any valve uh, dysfunction. Stent fracture hasn't been observed. No intervention required yet. Uh, in summary, our preliminary results show percutaneous valvulation of patients conduit this larger RVOT without stenosis that melody valve cannot be used. It's possible with the newer <coughs> version of Sapient XT valves and delivery systems. Presenting for providing a secure landing zone is the most important part of the procedure. Currently, only under XXL stance, which is expandable up to 2 mm, can be used for this purpose. Patient selection is the key in success of the presenting. Uh, in our experience, patient can be selected only uh, on RVOT measurements by echo. MRI is not mandatory. Of course, if it's available, it is one of the uh, most useful tool in evaluation of the RVOT. The most important factor in deciding to present is the occurrence of a waste with balloon integration. However, we can do triple check. Balloon sizes that are 10% or at least 1.5 mm more than waist diameter on the sizing or semi-compliant balloons can be used for press stenting safely. Most frequent complication after press stenting with 
Andra XXL until now we have observed are crumbling or partial crashing of the stent when expansion or during recrossing it with the crippled valve. However, it is possible to dilate the crashed or crumpled stent before or after violation. Thanks for your attention.